So once we've loaded the material into the printer, it is important to do a nozzle test or test draw to see what state the printer is in. So on a Mamaki, you go to function two and hit test print, and then it will fire all the nozzles in both heads on this model. So once it's forward the test print further to you, you can see that on this one, head one is fine, but head two, there's half the black missing. So now we're going to go into the menus, pick cleaning, and then pick the type of clean we want to do. If it was just a few nozzles, then we would just probably start with soft, but because there's a full block missing, we're going to go straight to normal. Because we can control which head's being clean, we're going to deselect head one and just select head two. And then it's going to perform the clean. After the clean, we need to do a test print and do it in scan direction so it do it next to the first test draw and won't waste any material. Looking at that now, you can see that it's brought 50% back of the missing block. So we're going to go back now and do another normal clean. If that doesn't improve it much, then we'll go to the next level of cleaning, which would be a hard option. As you can see, it's brought a few more back, I think, but we need to go up a level in cleaning, so now we're going to choose hard. So after the hard clean, the test print seems to be showing that all the black has now come back. I can still notice that there's one magenta missing. I wouldn't do any more cleans at this point, I'd just start printing and there's every chance that that nozzle will be, will be recovered through the printing process. If it doesn't and you've tried other cleans and soaks, then in the Mamaki printers on the new technology, it comes with spare nozzles and therefore you can replace the nozzle, uh, which is something we would do in this instance.